Howdy, everybody. So, right now, I'm at the Santa Rosa Lake State Park. It's actually closed. I came out here to find camping, but nothing's open right now, at least in this part of the world. And that, kids, is why you plan an itinerary. I wanted adventure, I got it. And just so you know, no fish. Oh God, it's backwards. Anyway, so there's a little poem I would like to read you from this woman named Gabby Hanna. I went to Barnes and Noble to buy an Ernest Hemingway book or two and Nature by Ralph Waldo Emerson, but there was no nature, sadly. So I went to the poetry section, which is abysmally small. I was a little bit upset at how small the poetry was. There was like one little corner for literate, like actual literature and poetry and everything else was all fantasy and which I love, but anyway, rambling. But I found this book, Adult to Lessons by Gabby Hanna. Let me read the beginning real quick because I love it. For all the kids who grew up too fast, all the adults who refused to grow up, and everyone who's both. <laughs> it was just a random buy, you know, I thought it'd be great. I read that and was like, yep, I'm getting it. So anyway, here's the poem I'd like to read. Called Sticks. You're a dimwit, a nimwit, a halfwit, a dipshit, a peon, a moron, an utter boring yawn, imbecile, ignoramus, vile, yucky, heinous, nincompoop, a ninny, an absolutely cringy. You're a roly poly fatty from all the things you've eaten. You're a jackass, an asshat, a nutcase, and a cretin, a numbskull, twerp, jack off, pleb, dunce, dweeb, dunderhead, bozo, dork, buffoon, flop, stoopy, smelly, useless mop. Hold on, wait, I'm not the type to call someone a dummy. To whom could I ever speak this way? Oh crap, I'm talking to me. Hmm. So, I related to this very strongly. Those last lines in particular, where she says, hold on, wait, I'm not the type to call someone a dummy. To whom could I ever speak this way? Oh crap, I'm talking to me. I guess you could say I'm a nice guy. I don't make fun of people. I do my best not to judge. I, you know, try to be a good person and I never insult others like I hardly even insult like characters and TV shows I, I'm just not the type I guess you know I'd rather see the best and even whenever I think people aren't doing great or it's like what they're doing sucks you know I am still constructive or quiet <laughs> you know but I don't think bad thoughts about them regardless the only one I ever really think negative thoughts about is myself. And I was thinking about that after reading this poem. Self-love. Actually loving yourself. I don't even make fun of strangers. So why would I talk that way about myself? And I know other people do it too because I know others who put themselves down or talk down about themselves, either vocally or internally. And whenever I hear that, I try to build them up because I see it. I see that. It's not just bullshit positivity. I actually see the strengths, the areas you could improve, you know? We're not that. We're not stupid. And why would we say that about ourselves if we wouldn't say it about someone else, at least in my case, and I know in a few others. So this is where I think mindfulness really comes into play and where meditation and these practices really work. 
Because when you're being mindful, you're aware of the thoughts that are coming in at any individual moment. You can't always be, or I mean, I guess if you're a master, sure. But whenever you start to realize, oh, I'm putting myself down, I'm putting myself down. Think about it, really, like, oh, recognize it's there. Don't judge it. Ah, hello. There's that again. Why am I doing that? I don't need to do that. And then think about what you would say to someone else that was having those thoughts. A good friend who came to you with that. What would you say to them? Say it to yourself. Take your own advice. I know I should start doing that anyway. <laughs> but then again, before I go any further, I am a hypocrite. I make lots of mistakes. Don't take my word for anything. I just wanted to share my thoughts about this lovely poem and pray that you may all find self-love, that you may love those around you, and that you may love yourself as much as you love your loved ones. May you have a blessed day. May you find happiness. May you know peace. May you love yourself. God bless you all.